Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So for today's reading, I wanted to go with my intention of what I wanted to do yesterday um, before I kind of got the message that I was supposed to go in a different direction. So I've just been feeling like, you know, with the season that we're in, we're in the balance between light and dark. And so there has been a lot of um, work, work to do, things coming up, lots of letting go. And, and that's good, right? But especially when you're on your spiritual journey, um, if you just only ever focus on self-improvement, 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 um, that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, it's... You need the balance. You need play and you need to do the work, right? You need time to go within and go without. <laughs> go without. <laughs> so my intention today is all I want is just a light, happy story. And uh, oh, now the sun decides to come out. It wasn't coming out until I started this video. So, um... I don't care, we're already in the flow. Let's go. Yeah, so let's just tell a lighthearted story because I find, especially anime, but um, especially cartoons, you can watch cartoons or any TV show and there's always a message in it. It depends on the receiver, right? And you're the receiver, you're the antenna. Your TV has an antenna, but you also are an antenna. And so you can have fun while still kind of doing the soul work. It doesn't have to be so serious all the time. In fact, spirit says you need to take time to play or else you really won't understand the lessons. And so today's cards, I brought unicorns and dragons and care bears because why not? And I picked all those decks myself. <laughs> So the dragon ones, for some reason, we put upside down. And then they said to work our way through this. It's true. We need to let go of stress. Ah, picked it up wrong. We're not going to do reversals because this is supposed to be light and happy. So we have true and let go of stress. They're showing me, you know, all the work that you've been integrating, you know, as you connect to your guides and you're bringing in this energy, this higher frequency, um, you can't stay in that state forever. And that's why this is the best time between the balance of the two light and dark is because there is ebbs and flows and right. There are times when you're supposed to take action and there's times where you're supposed to take rest, but somewhere in there, you got to play. And you can play on both of them, right? While you're out there, you can go and on an adventure. But while you're resting, maybe it's just watching something funny. So let's see what we see from the cards here. You said no reversals, turn them up right. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to focus on these, but this card is singing to me. <laughs> I'm like over here and it's, yeah, so loud and so clear. All I'm hearing is Madonna's lucky star. Yeah, I'm lucky, lucky. Um, so that's another form of going out and having fun is music. Um, they're showing me, you know, you, you listen to, as you were growing on your journey, there were different songs that were popular at the time. And so when you go back to those songs, it can bring you to a moment. And that moment can like ignite, like it could go both ways, but they're saying we're focusing on the positive here because you're the receiver. You could focus on the bad that happens, right? That's your mind and those loops and all the synapses you created. But you just as easily can say like, not today, not today, Satan. And see him, Bianca Del Rio. Um, 
that's what I wash for fun. If I need to just let go, because what I love most in life is just when people are authentically themselves. So one of my favorite shows to watch is uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. Love it. Um, I love going to the shows. I love everything about drag culture. And so, yeah, they're saying you're my lucky star. And so they're saying you can listen to music. It's not just cartoons or things like that, that, um, you know what guys, I'm going to just shut these blinds. It's gonna get bright. It's about to get really sunny. And that's awesome. <laughs> so, hold up. Maybe let's pause. Okay, we're back. And so, okay. As I was doing all that, um, they were still kind of playing the story. They didn't know we hit pause. Um, they were saying, um, yes, you do need to um, have like the serious and, and then you need to incorporate the play. But what they said is, no, you need to incorporate play every day, every single day. And now we're not talking about going out there in like hedonism and just like, you know, doing whatever you want without thinking of the consequences. But there is something that brings your soul joy. And, you know, you're like, oh, I'll get to it when I have free time. And they're saying, no, do that first and then the free time for everything else. Because um, they're showing me a procrastinator and how a procrastinator is, right? They have this big essay that they need to um, go and do, but then they don't do it, they don't do it. And then they're like, oh shoot, I've got it due in two days. And somehow they put all their energy on it and they focus so hard and they knock it out. They're saying the other things that, you know, are necessity and you have to do every single day, there will be time for it because that is of value to you. So you really need to take time to actually have whatever brings you that spark of joy every single day. Bring in the magic, bring in the everything, let things be light for a bit. It's not, they keep saying, especially on your spiritual journey, um, if that's all you ever did is just, you went to school and studied and studied and studied, it's, 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 it's gonna be like a really dry book. It's the experiences and the failures and the adventures and the fun, your stories that are actually going to help these teachings be a bit uh, solidified. So music, um, right? If For those who are clairaudient, music is so important to have that in your life. If you're in a place where you don't hear music anymore, make time for music. Uh, bedtime bear with the nine of clubs, nine of clubs. Yeah, all work and no play. That's what they keep showing me. And it's like, and I feel like that's what the, the readings have been a little bit. It's just like always been so serious and like, you know, these things. And so Remember to take time to hear the stories. The stories is the most important thing, right? And so a lot of spiritual people will tell you, don't watch TV, TV is bad for you. But most of my insights I've ever gotten came from stories. It came from other people and then, and taking their lessons and stuff. And not all parts are for me, but some things live in your soul. Those are things that you need to keep with you. Those are those, those, um, spirit always says, like, especially when it comes to creating, like nothing, nothing that we create hasn't been done before. Like somebody's already done everything that we've done. We just reinvent it. We think, and then, um, call it something different. I saw something on a YouTube reel and it was like, this girl was so blown away about how she's like, you know, I don't like wearing uh, work pants. And then so I found these like leggings that look like jeans. 
and everyone's like, girl, those are called jeggings and those are not new. <laughs> like, but to her, this was so mind blowing and such a revelation, <laughs> which brought me joy watching it because I was like, really everything that you create kind of has been done before. And that's why I always think like, you know, admire other people's creativity and, and then go in and follow your creativity. Watching old school Care Bear cartoons and things like that make me happy. I learned so many lessons from it, especially because in there, they're all about going out and having empathy and helping people. So yeah, Ace of Pentacles here. We got Grumpy Bear and he's flying off in... Oh. Okay, they're showing me like pranks now. Okay, because I just talked about the YouTube reel about nothing being recreated. And I just shared it, I think, yesterday. I sent it to a couple people. And uh, <laughs> this, this husband was playing a joke on his wife, right? She was doing like housework and being so serious, getting things ready. It was a party. They were planning a party. And you could just tell she was just like, not, not like, ah, you know, having fun. So this guy ties all these balloons to the baby and he's holding her behind the door. So she never saw it. And then she's like, he's like, hey, so-and-so. And then she comes around and then he starts lifting the baby up. So it looked like the balloons were, were flying him up to the sky. And she's just like, oh my God. <laughs> and then, you know, she could laugh when she was like, oh, okay. Like, and, and I think that's it is they always say, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Like she was getting a party ready but not having fun. That's the whole purpose of a party is to go out and have fun. It's true, they say. Go have fun. I don't know why they keep playing Madonna's Lucky Star. I kind of want to Google the lyrics. Maybe I'll do that after. I'll maybe link it down below because I'm hearing it so loud and so clear. Mostly they're just showing me in the 80s because I feel like in the 80s, they dress the most ridiculous, <laughs> right? The brightest, the tightest, the most neon, right? The, the biggest hair, don't care kind of thing. And uh, it was just fun. That's what they show me is like nowadays, like kids, kids don't get to be kids. Kids grow up so fast nowadays. And they're just like, by the time they're 10, they act like... 20, 21 year olds. No, <laughs> you're not an adult yet. You got so many phases and cycles to learn from. So embrace that because if you don't take on that inner child and the, the fun, um, it's gonna be harder for you to manifest because a manifest is that open heart. It is that joy. It is all that things. Uh, it's the feeling. And so whatever it is that makes you so nostalgic and, and they just keep showing me someone at a desk and this person's like looking out a window and they're like, you know, oh, I want to, I don't know why they're showing me camping. Oh, I want to go out here and I want to go to the lake and I want to do this. Oh, and then next time, you know, after this, after this deadline, that deadline is important. Yes. Right. Because that's how you get paid. That's how everything that's your foundation but if you don't have any joy with what you're doing it like they say it's not what you do it's how you do it then that actually is hurting your body and your soul more than it is helping you i see someone in survival mode working themselves silly and they're not saying that it's for you to go and quit your job but it's like finding a, a different way to do it and and if you actually take time to actually focus on what you want to do uh, when you go to these heavy tasks that I just see soul-sucking joyless <laughs> they're not that bad because you've already filled your cup up but when you come to something with an empty cup already, um, it that's just negative. That's just negative cup flow. But it keeps going back to, to the lessons, to everything that we do. 
if if you're so serious on your spiritual path you're missing the biggest key point of it it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be lighthearted. i don't care who makes fun of you oh there's christy again in the clouds talking to her unicorns yeah and you know what i'm gonna share that gift with everyone because look at this here they've got roses right now now there's an abundance of love it's that it's not what i believe you can make fun of you know everything that i do but it makes me happy and when i go out into the world right i don't share much of this with people around me but i hold this high frequency because i've done the 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 fun part for me so i go to these hectic less ideal places or situations and and then that way you can be the light they just what it movie is that? I was like, all work and no play makes so-and-so a dull boy. I feel like that's a horror film. <laughs> and that's, that is horrific. If you never have play and you never have joy, and if you think I work and work and work and work, you know, you know, put in all this time now. And then, you know, when I'm older, um, you know, I'll be able to have more fun. But then, you know, you start a family and then you have to provide for that. And then so you work and work and work. And then you're like, well, maybe when I retire, I'll have more fun. But what if you're not promised that time? That's why right now, right now, you need to stop being so serious and just do whatever it is that can bring that lightness to you. They're saying this isn't a place of escape. You can't stay in this happy fantasy la-la land. But um, this is where you go to enrich your soul this is just that light in this place it, it's almost like um they're just telling me you still can learn while you're in this fantasy world that most people try to avoid right watching cartoons i say go watch cartoons i love cartoons there's such a the colors and the sounds and the everything there's just something to it there's much more to it than people know. You wanna know one, uh, one cartoon I just thought was so cute uh, is the on Disney, uh, Soul. I loved it. I loved it so much. I was on an airplane and I was like, don't land until I get to see the ending. But it landed. <laughs> so then I went, cause I was going to see my family. I made them watch it. And then I came back and watched it again. I love Soul. And those, those are just somebody's creativity on what they thought the journey was. Is it real? Is it 100% true? I don't know, but I also don't care. But by watching it, I just, it lit my, my soul by watching Soul. And so we got three cards from Dragons. So now, right, I find... Okay, what are they telling me? They're saying Care Bears is a cartoon that is, you know, imaginary. And then they showed me the unicorns being more, I don't know the words that they're quite picking. I, I see it in me, but I don't have the right words to share it. I'm so sorry, guys. And that's one problem is I never shared my gift much with people. So I really can get trapped in and keep everything to myself. And so that's why they're like, I'm, I'm really struggling with how this was. It was almost like the Care Bears was like a man, a man-made thing. Uh, uh, like someone wrote a book. So it's like that way is one way of creativity. But then they're showing the unicorns and mostly people associate unicorns with, you know, imaginary fantasy kind of thing. But when they showed the dragons, it, it was almost like that fantasy as well, but it was now more into like dungeons and dragons. Like it just was more, the unicorns was like light, almost like the Care Bear pink energy and all this stuff and 
I, I grab a blue card as I said that. Or like con candy. This is like con candy is what they're showing me. Whereas this is like Lord of the Rings, those kind of things. Fantasy and adventure. I don't know why that was so hard for me to talk about and get out. Because I still feel like I messed it up a bit. Anyways. Hmm. And, and so it's just funny because, like, I don't know what's going on with my camera. I saw it went dark and then it went light. It went something. But I said, like, you know, unicorns are tied with, like, the pink and the cotton candy. And the funniest thing that came out is, and, and dragons are, like, this dark, more mysterious thing. And this is the first dragon to come out. The most, like, pinkish cotton candy dragon there is. And so I guess that's just saying like, don't, don't put a label on something. Don't try to box something in before you get the full scope. Come in with an open mind. And that's what like fantasy and cartoons, right? I feel like you learn so many lessons from these things. What is going on over here, guys? Anyways, um, so let's see what it says. Prepare your heart to connect with the higher facets of the cosmic heart. Open your heart to warm-hearted love and diamond light. Connect with the love of the universe. So from that message, I got authors. That authors, a lot of them, right, they think they created it, but it's actually a channeled message from the universe, right? When you, ah, yeah. When you connect to source, it's almost like they give you that story to share. Just as I do these messages on these videos, reading a book like Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter or something like that is still its same thing. There's a story, there's a message, there's a lesson in it, but it's in a different way. It's in a fun way. It's in a way where, you know, you can relate and you can see people go through their adventures, but you feel safe to stay in your your bed right because you know battling a dragon can be pretty damn scary you don't have to battle them though <laughs> so the next one that we came out with the dragons is golden chris i never heard this word in this way but i'll show you first Golden Christed love? I never heard of the word Christed or Golden Christed Dragon. Brings you higher love so that you can embody Christ light. Absorb the Christ light. You are protected. Expand your heart and remain in the fifth dimension. Fifth dimension. You wanna know what's cool about the fifth dimension? Is Dimensions are hard to explain or understand, but, um, right, we're in the third dimension, we're in the 3D, and then, um, just a second, I feel like things are just so dark in here, and I want a little bit of light, because it's lighting your sunshine, I don't like sitting in a dark room. All right, that makes me feel a bit better. It doesn't look great on the video, but at least I feel the light and I feel the sunshine and that's all that matters. And I don't got those weird lines. But um, in the fifth dimension, like where we are in the 3D, the basic way to show it is in terms of drawing. Someone needs to draw more, that's a message. Somebody, that's your passion, that's your, your art to bring this world. That's for you to channel from your higher source and your art will inspire others. The colors and everything on it will, will bring joy. And that's your only purpose really is to walk, walk here, spread love and joy. 
Uh, yes, your other job is important, but you are also meant to shine your light, shine your gift. But <clears throat> perception, that, that's, that's pretty much all the dimensions kind of are and their frequencies, right? So first dimension, it kind of looks like a dot. But then in the second dimension, you know, it's actually like a line and then it turns into a 3D cylinder, right? And then in the fourth is kind of, fourth dimension is like time. And but in the fifth dimension, it kind of breaks free of all these. And, and in it, it is a higher frequency. It is more love. And so every project, everything that brings you joy is actually from this place. It's channeled through you you can call it Christ energy, Christ light, whatever it is, Christ consciousness. That's the golden energy. Absorb the Christ light. You are protected. Expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional. That's the only purpose is to be in your heart and hold this space, right? not what you do it's how you do that's what they say over and over and over and over again they're saying make more time for fun yes yes we are going through these like light and dark battles but it's not don't don't make it so serious you know there are those who think they have to study like doctrines for whatever and like never right you have to be like a yogi and you need to go sit on the mountain and you need to take that vow of silence for life like i tried it for 10 days i learned a lot from it but this this time especially a lot of you you your souls have already gone and done all that stuff and so you don't need to do it again right now is for you to come and share your gift and your joy and your love with with the universe so last card is the dusk. <laughs> we got more pink. Who cares what people think if it's all cotton candy and fluff? Would you rather have this lighthearted energy or would you rather be full of stress and anxiety and anger? And it doesn't matter what a single person outside of you thinks. If you work on your project, if you work on your craft, your skill, right? Like we do need everyone to step into their talent. They just show me like a movie production. How many people, um, how many people does it take to create that? You ever see the credits? It's just like some of those movies, it's like, wow, is this ever gonna end? Like a video game. <laughs> I watched this one video game credit and that was crazy. There were so many people who worked on that. I love watching the videos, um, the reels, where it's like the sound people. And it's like, what sound do you think that this is in, in a movie? And those are people who go out into this world and, and they, they see everyday basic stuff <clears throat> that you and I see, but they we overlook, right? That is that because that is what it is. But they're like, wow, that actually sounds like this. And so, yeah, a lot of what you actually hear on the videos is not the sound of the actual thing doing it. The actual thing doesn't make that sound, but we receive it that way. So let's see what this card says. Dust, dusty pink dragon from Andromeda. Hmm. Accept and radiate higher love. Touch others with this flame. Oh, that's so beautiful. And you know why? Why did I ever talk about music? Oh yeah, because this one was singing Madonna to me. <laughs> and these were hidden down, so I didn't even know this yet. But there's, there's musical notes all over it. And he's holding a little ant or a cricket. It's a cricket. They're saying, don't be afraid of crickets, right? If you go out and you share whatever it is your project is 
whatever it is that you only you have you have that skill like artists i keep seeing artists i wouldn't have these cool cards if artists weren't here and then there's other people who who have the spiritual knowledge or stuff about the dragons they came together then there's actually that who knows how to do the production and things like that like some people are just skilled at other things that others aren't and so it's for whatever brings you joy to bring that forward don't be afraid of not being accepted because that message isn't for them that creative project is not for them but if it if you build it feeling that fear it's not going to be successful it's not going to be fun so sometimes you do need to stop and just step back but don't get discouraged a lot of people step back but they forget to ever come back to it and they think oh i'll get to it i'll get to it when i have the time i'll get to it when i have the time and the time is now every single day do something that, that makes you have joy right have a dance party sing on top of your lungs color your coloring sheets, make your YouTube video, do whatever it is that, that fills your cup. So now when you go out, as it says, accept and radiate higher love, touch others with its flame. When you are love and you go out, it's contagious. And now you help them and now they're, they're like kind of, I just see like a candle, one candle lighting another candle that can light millions of candles. And that's, that's the power of love. That's the power of sharing your light. So let's wind this up and see if there's anything I missed on this. So if you feel like you've been really, really lazy and you keep saying in, in that negative talk, talking to yourself, oh, you know, I should do this. Oh, I should stop. If what you're doing is filling your cup up, no regrets for that. But if what you're doing is just keeping you stalled without ever doing what you creatively want to do and your responsibilities, that's an awful place to be. That is, that needs to change. That's where you need to raise yourself up with this Christ light, absorb it, and expand your heart because you're protected and remain in the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension, there's such cool things in the fifth dimension. It pretty much is like, they're showing me the My Little Pony movie I used to watch when I was little and it's just the opening scene. So that's from the 80s. And you know, when I seen it, there's like this waterfall and like the rainbow and it's just this happy environment. The fifth dimension is that. The fifth dimension is love. There is these places. So whoever's like, oh, you and your cotton candy fantasy dreams, like it, it's kind of important to have because that's a place that just makes you beam and smile. Where we are, Earth, <laughs> it's tough here guys it is so you really need to take it with a grain of salt earth is one of the toughest schools that souls come to learn from and only the toughest of tough souls come here and so don't be so hard on yourself you chose this but you know you knew the benefits you get from it and you knew that you weren't supposed to come here and be so serious because nothing is so serious. It really is. It's, it's, they just always say it's not what you do, it's how you do. If let's say something major did happen, would you really want everybody being high, like anxious and like freaking out? No, you want someone who's calm, who can stand and they're really grounded and in their light because their cup is full and now they're able to help others who are going through a, a disaster. They're saying people who never tap in to rest or play are walking disasters. 
they're so on edge and they're so like, you know, they got this shell, this protective bubble, this, you know, laughing and bringing joy and all those things and the rest and the play are so important. They're like, you, you guys really need to understand that that is number one and then the rest. So we're going to leave it there and I hope you guys have a very magical, wonderful day of whatever fills your cup up. Bye guys.